Hey everybody, this is Matt Fury with Avid, along with the Director of Product Development, my good friend David Colantoni. David, a lot of new things in Media Composer 6, lots to talk about, but what I want to do is do a quick lightning round and go through just the really big ones. So let's start with 64-bit and the new UI. So thanks for having me, Matt. Um, so with Media Composer 6, we started um, the foundation for the future. And what that means is that we've built a 64-bit architecture so that our customers can um, experience performance improvements and all the things that come along with a 64-bit architecture. Accompanying that is a new user interface. And the important thing about the in user interface is that we have a lot of legacy Media Composer users out there. We didn't want to change their muscle memory, but we wanted to make it so that the user interface was modern looking and allowed new users to um, experience a brand new set of architectural changes and user interface changes that sometimes they experience in other applications too, like tab windows and different um, interface choices and things like that. But that really is the beginning of where we want to go. We're realizing that customers are using um, editing products on smaller windows, so we need to have better organizational properties inside the application. Um, so. Uh, the redo of the UI inside of Media Composer 6 really represents us trying to accommodate laptop computers and new um, ways that people are using the products in different ways that we haven't seen in the past. Yeah, and of course, one of the most anticipated things about Media Composer 6 is that it's now open to third-party hardware. Tell us about that, Dave. Of course, Avid makes great hardware today with Mojo DX and Nitrous DX, but our customers are asking for choice, and we've been working very closely with AJA and Matrox and Blackmagic and Bluefish and Motu to make sure that customers have a very similar experience working with third-party hardware that they do with our hardware, and it's all about choice for our customers. So speaking of new hardware, one of the cool things about MC6 is that we're augmenting the artist controller line. Now in Media Composer 6, you can use the artist color control surface to do color correction in Media Composer. Yeah, so with Media Composer 6, it's great. We've we've implemented the use of um, artist color, which is a control surface for color correction, and it does a couple other great things too, um, as far as editing goes, but it's really an important piece of color correction. People need to have the tactile feedback in a color correction setting to make sure that their workflows are efficient and they're doing all the great things that they want to do in a color correction setting and the artist controller provides that for them. Really popular camera acquisition format right now, AVC HD, now available in Media Composer 6 via AMA. Yep, so we said when we created this architecture years ago that this was a very important feature to um, match to evolving formats and things like that. So um, the AVC HD format, of course, is proliferated across many camera manufacturers today, and we're taking it in using um, AMA to make sure that customers can access it natively and edit it just like they do all the other formats that are out there. And Media Composer 6, not all just about picture, some really cool improvements in terms of how you work with audio with 5.1 and 7.1 surround sound mixing? Yeah, so you can create surround tracks inside of Media Composer 6, that's great. It also interrupts perfectly with Pro Tools and you can take your mixes back into Media Composer and mask them off from there. Um, it's a great advancement. We started in version 5 with RTAS effects um, and stereo tracks and now we're expanding the capabilities of audio functionality with surround sound. And finally, one of the most complete 3D tool, uh, 3D stereoscopic editing tool sets you're ever going to find. Yeah, so this was something that um, we really wanted to own. If a customer needs to edit 3D, we want to make sure that they will edit in Media Composer. We own the workflow. It's perfectly implemented. We wanted to make 3D editing as easy as 2D editing, and we've definitely achieved that. Okay, and of course, something that's important to everybody, pricing. I know something very significant has happened in terms of the whole Final Cut Pro cross-grade. Tell us about it. Well, of course, Avid is all about our commitment to professionals. So, and we realize that some people have moved away from Avid over the years. We want them back. And so the product they were using was Final Cut 7. So we've introduced a cross-grade price for Final Cut users for $14.99. And if they own Final Cut today, they can move to Media Composer. You can keep your Final Cut if you want to. Um, and so we're, we're pretty proud of that. And this is permanent. This isn't a trial. It's permanent. Yeah, it's Excellent. sticking around. Well, fantastic. If you want to learn all about these features as well as a lot of others that Dave and I didn't talk about, download your own fully functioning trial version of Media Composer at avid.com.